It appears to be dramatic events unfolding when it comes to Cuba. We are waiting potentially for a statement from the White House later. We do know that Alan Gross, who has been in prison for five years in Cuba, uh, the, uh, the Obama administration has told the Associated Press that he was put on a plane, sent back to the United States, a development worker there. The situation there had been quite contentious. But there are reports that there is a potential policy change toward Cuba. And Reuters, citing state TV in Cuba, says that President Raul Castro is going to make an important announcement at noon regarding U.S. relations. The embargo against Cuba was imposed in 1962. If dramatic changes are announced today, it would be an incredible change, Carl. We don't know what they are, but certainly we could be looking at something that akin to the situation with Iran and the attempts to cool or improve the relationship with Iran. We should also point out that Cuba is in a very tough position because of the situation with the price of oil. Remember, they get 100,000 barrels per day free. I mean, there's some supposed relationship with Venezuela, but it's heav heavily discounted, and they are heavily reliant on that oil from Venezuela. You can be sure they are incredibly concerned about what is happening with the situation in Venezuela and whether or not they're going to continue to receive that oil. Uh, so that may be pushing them to try to come to a deal uh, with the United States. There are a lot of hurdles within U.S. law about actually uh, improving things dramatically because... They're going to have to pay back certain debts to U.S. investors that's written into U.S. law right now before we can really uh, make dramatic changes. Back to you. Wow. All right. Michelle, yeah, so you seem to be incredible. intimating yeah, that the embargo may be lifted. I, I mean, I, I, I don't I, want to put words right. in your mouth at all, and, and I know you're not saying that, right. but it, is that a real possibility? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think it's a possibility. I mean, today, uh, no, yeah. but, it, but at some <laughs> point it was definitely going to, to occur, one, because exiles in, in Florida were no longer supportive of the embargo, so it's not the political mm -hmm. issue that it was for so long when it came to U.S. elections and winning Florida, necessarily. Um, so whether or not it could be today, I, I, I don't know. Remember, to remove the embargo actually takes an act of Congress. Right? right, but there's a lot of things that Obama could do uh, executively in order to change the situation for sure.